Good morning, my NeoVim nerds. So this morning, we're going to be talking about a uh, plugin that's related to ChatGPT. And, you know, it's kind of on the fence about making this video because there's a lot of controversy and drama with OpenAI right now. But I figured most of that has settled. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and talk about this. So if you're new here, this is our weekly NeoVim slash Vim plugin video series in which uh, we cover one NeoVim or Vim plugin per week. Um, if you like this series, feel free to subscribe and hit like on this video. Now, um, what is GP? GP.MVim is what we're going to be covering today. It's a chat GPT prompt. Let me make this bigger for you guys. And uh, what it does is it allows you to pop up this prompt with inside NeoVim, like he does here. And uh, let me also make this a little bigger. And so he, what he's doing here is he's specifying a command and giving it to ChatGPT, so write a Python script, computing the nth Fibonacci number using simple recursion. And once he hits enter, ChatGPT will return the results inside NeoVim in our buffer. So that's pretty neat. And also you could open up a new chat um, in, uh, let's see, in a new pane. So he says, hi there, just tell me a few short jokes. And you can interact with ChatGPT this way. So it's a pretty nifty plugin. Uh, we are going to be exploring a few things here. Let me move this over to the side. We're going to be exploring how to install GP, which is pretty easy. We're going to use Packer to install GP. And we're going to also configure it. There is uh, one little nuance to configuring it. It's pretty basic, but you do need an open API key. Um, if you don't have an open a API key, you'll need one before utilizing this plugin. And then uh, we're going to go over some basic usage commands. Like we're going to configure it in such a way where our key mappings open up a pop up with a ChatGPT prompt. Uh, that we can utilize to write code or copy code from and paste it into our buffer. And I'm also going to show you the, a cool command called GP implement that allows you to implement functions inside your buffer just by writing a comment and feeding it to chat GPT. And then I'm also going to show you how this plugin will work in visual mode. All right, so with that, let's go ahead and hop to it. So this is my init.lua. Uh, uh, many of you are already familiar with this. I like to keep all of my plugin declarations, use declarations in a file called plugins. So I'm going to open up Telescope here and then type plugins to search for the plugins.lua file and hit enter to go ahead and navigate to that file. Um, so this is a pretty big function. I'm going to use MVM UFO to code fold all of these use statements. So that's Z, capital M, that code folded all or the top level line there. So Z A just to do an unfold at the uh, top level. So it still kept some use directives folded there. Shift G to go all the way to the bottom. All right, so you can see here, we already have a use directive for this plugin, gp.mvim. Go ahead and uncomment that using the common.mvim plugin and save it. All right, so now that I have that use directive in here, I'm gonna go ahead and configure the plugin open up my file called plugin configs where I like to keep all of my plugin configurations. And uh, you can see also here, this is a pretty big file. So I'm going to use MVM UFO to code fold all of these using Z capital M. So you can see all of these lines are all of these blocks are code folded now, which is nice. And now shift G to go all the way to the bottom where I'm keeping all of my GP configurations. So these lines here will configure GP. So I select them in visual mode and hit G, C to uncomment them. Cool. So pretty basic. Uh, like I said, you do need an open API key to make this work. And I have my open API key stored in an environment variable, a system environment variable. So you can do the same thing. You can set this environment variable in your ZSHRC or bash RC file, and then uh, reference it here in the configurations. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and save that as well. And uh, let's talk about key mappings now. Let's go into our key mappings file, Lua key mappings. 
and then uh, shift G to go all the way down. So if you've been here a while, you know that I've done a video on a plugin called Witch Key, which allows you to register key mappings pretty easily and allows you to uh, also see these mappings in a nice little pop-up window down here. If you haven't catched that video yet, um, I'll go ahead and link it up here as a card in the top right of the video. So you should be able to go watch that video and, and see what we're doing here. All right, so hit escape there to get rid of that window. But these are the key mappings that I'm defining for GP. I'm saying a prefix of leader in mode normal. We can press U, uh, G to do a chat GPT toggle pop-up. So that'll pop, that'll toggle a pop-up for the chat GPT prompt. Now I'm also doing R, R here to do chat GPT response. So once I finish typing my question, I hit leader UR to have it respond. And I'm doing N for a new chat while I'm in the pop-up. That's in normal mode. In visual mode, I'm doing something similar. So in visual mode, I'm doing prefix leader U G for chat GPT toggle and N for chat GPT new pop-up. So pretty basic using which key again here, which key register to register these key mappings. All right, so save that again. I think that's all there is to it for the key mappings. So I'm gonna reload NeoVim. This is an okay message. It's just telling me GP isn't found and we're trying to configure it. Well, that's because it's not installed yet. So I hit Q to get rid of that message and then go back into command mode. Oop, that's not what I want. Command mode and the packer install. All right, cool. Looks like GP is installed. So close that, open up NeoVim again. All right, and so we're in here. So now that we're in here, what can we do? Well, let's get started on how to, let, let's first start with how we can uh, make that pop-up appear. So our mapping was leader. Now that I've pressed leader, you can see here which key has popped up with the option of U, ChatGPT. So I'm gonna hit U. You and then now our options are toggle chat, new chat, or respond. So I'm gonna hit G. Cool. So now we have this little pop up window with a chat GPT prompt. What do we want to ask it? Well, we can ask it anything. We can ask it, uh, uh, tell me some silly jokes. I think that'll work. Oh, uh, actually, let's not ask it that. Let's ask it. Write me a Lua function that loops 10 times and prints Cantu codes. All right, so now that we've done that, we hit leader, U, R for respond. That was the mapping that we set for respond. All right, so R. So you can see here, uh, it's giving us a Lua function that loops 10 times and prints Cantu codes. Pretty neat. All right, so to grab that function, it's simple, you just Go into visual mode, hit yank, Y for yank. To get rid of this pop-up, do leader, U, G to toggle that. And then now we can hit P to paste that code right in here. That's pretty neat, awesome. Well, what if I wanted to start a new chat in that toggle pop-up? So I go ahead and hit leader, U, G to toggle that pop-up again. And then from here, just do leader, U, N for a new chat. So this is a brand new chat. You can ask, ask it, you know, write me a Lua function that will print hello 20 times. Leader UR to respond. And uh, there it goes. Awesome, cool. All right, so leader UG to get rid of that again. Now I wanna show you how you can use GP implement to do the same thing, but in line. So what if I just wanted to have it write code right here. I can say, write me a Lua function that prints Cantu codes 10 times. Go into visual mode, highlight that line. Now go into command mode and type GP implement, GP implement. So uh, let's see what happened there. GP Okay, GP implement doesn't work. 
that's okay. I probably haven't configured it. So we're going to come back to that. Um, so now, what if I wanted to utilize visual mode to interact with ChatGPT and have everything that I have in my visual mode be in the context of the ChatGPT prompt? Um, to show this, I'm going to go into a different file, plugin configs, go all the way down here. And let's take this block as an example. So select it with visual mode and do a, uh, let's see, I guess I can just do a, a, a leader U G. There you go. And so a new ChatGPT prompt has popped up with that code in question. So I can just say, hey, uh, give me this code all in one line. Leader you are. And there it is. That same code all in one line. So it's pretty neat. You can interact with code in visual mode and uh, have it appear in your ChatGPT prompt pretty easily. So leader UG to get rid of that. Cool. So let's go back to my net.lua. And I think that's just about covers it for today. There's a lot that GGPT or uh, GP can do. Uh, if you want some examples of how you could configure it, just go into the GitHub repository, scroll down, and, and on the number four point here, there's a, a full configuration file that you can look at with all of the options. You can configure different agents, which are pretty cool, and a lot of things that you can do here. So I recommend going through that if you're interested in customizing this a lot more. Great. All right, well, folks, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next week.